Minneapolis and St. Paul are under the leadership of two new mayors. Jacob Fry and Melvin Carter both took the oath of office today. Fry spent the last four years on the Minneapolis City Council. Carter, who is also a former city council member, is now the city's first African-American mayor. And Esme Murphy has more on the start of their tenures. We saw a lot of passion from Melvin Carter in his speech today, Esme. Absolutely, Liz. The word that comes to mind is fiery, and the more than 1,000 cheering supporters who came out to see him sworn in loved it. Now, the swearing in had more of a feel of a campaign rally and took place at St. Paul Central High School, which Mayor Carter graduated from just 20 years ago and where he was voted back then most likely to succeed. I'm Melvin Carter III. The 38-year-old was sworn in on a family Bible surrounded by his wife and their five children. So help me God. Congratulations. The speech was part tribute to his own family's rise. My love for St. Paul goes back 100 years to when my great-grandparents fled here from the hatred and violence of the Deep South. And a call to action. St. Paul is a city with momentum, but we are also a city of deep inequity. He blasted a national culture ingrained in racism, racism, citing the little used third stanza of the Star Spangled Banner. Our national anthem, our national freedom song, is an ode to slavery. He said his immediate priorities include a review with St. Paul police of their deadly force policy, as well as raising the city's minimum wage to $15 an hour. Another initiative is for St. Paul's youngest. I will propose a partnership between business, philanthropy, and nonprofit leaders to start every child born in St. Paul with $50 in a college savings account. The mayor repeatedly noted he was back at his old high school. Is, is Central in the house? Saying he could never have imagined this moment. As we decided where to put this celebration, uh, it became really clear really early that this was the only place to do it. Now, Mayor Carter's prominence, not just as a local but statewide figure, was evident by the many dignitaries at the swearing in, including Governor Dayton, Senator Amy Klobuchar, Congressman and gubernatorial candidate Tim Walls, Congresswoman Betty McCollum, and also St. Paul former mayor and gubernatorial candidate uh, Chris Coleman. Yeah, look, just packed there. Today. Absolutely. And for Jacob Fry, uh, his ceremony actually isn't uh, official just yet, but he did take the reins today. He did, Liz. Apparently, in Minneapolis, it is tradition to have not just one swearing in ceremony, but two. The big public swearing in is next Monday, but today, Jacob Fry and the entire council were sworn in in what was officially called a private event. It is nonetheless official. Jacob Fry, with his wife Sarah by his side, took the oath of office and is now the mayor of Minneapolis. We've got an extraordinary city with people that are fully capable of enacting the change that they envision. And uh, as mayor, I want to be a big part of that. A visible, present, facing the world hand in hand with the community to just get things done that quite simply help people. And after being sworn in, Mayor Fry then rushed over to attend Mayor Carter's swearing in in St. Paul. Then he rushed back to Minneapolis to fulfill what he described as a childhood dream, working on the back of a garbage truck and picking up garbage. I guess when you're the mayor, you can do that. Every little boy's dream, right? Absolutely. All right, thank you, Esme.